it's Caitlin here today and welcome back to my channel so today we are actually going to be finishing one of the apartments that is part of my apartment complex build little series type thing if you guys are new to my channel I am doing a um, apartment complex series at the moment where basically I've gone ahead and built a big apartment complex and I've got about seven um, different apartments that I am furnishing all in different videos so there's probably going to be about eight um, or nine parts in this video uh, because I do also have a terrace um, on the second story and I really wanted to do kind of like a community garden community chill out area for all of the tenants that will reside in this little apartment complex and I wanted um, to be able to decorate that it would have been a nice idea if I had um, decorated that when I did the building itself but I I wasn't too sure at that time whether I was actually going to keep it for a public space or if I was going to uh, quarter it off to uh, be more of a private area for just one of the apartments um, but I think I have decided to go along with the public access um, little idea there so I will need to finish that uh, or decorate that I don't necessarily need to do it in a video but just in case you guys want to see it, I may or may not do it in the video um, but yeah so this is one of the studio apartments, one of the cheaper apartments, or um, I sort of, uh, I sort of imagine this would have been one of the cheaper apartments. So um, I'm not too sure. This is actually the first one that I am editing and things like that, but I'm not too sure if it'll be the first that I uh, release after the original building build. Um, it could be the second or the third um, but I will remember to link any prior videos in the description box if you haven't seen any of them sorry so you guys can go ahead and check out those ones as well this could very well just be the second video so there may only be the original build to check out first but yeah um, if you would like to go check that out I will have those down there so yeah this little studio apartment I had an idea in mind that I wanted the tenant to be sort of artistic on the artistic side um, and all of these apartments are going to be very industrial um, and the reason for that is because I have built this in the spice market where the old salt house used to be located um, and I have decided that I wanted it to tie in with the surroundings I wanted it to be a build that was going to match everything around it um, and I thought you know you you wouldn't really have an older building uh, apartment building and have it super super flash inside so anyway guys I actually forgot what I was just talking about because if you just heard there was a knock at my door so I had to quickly pause my recording I was just going to scrap the recording but I thought you know what I think I paused it in time so I'm just going to continue from where I left off uh, it was uh, it was my dad coming into my room by the way but yeah we're, we'll just continue uh, where we left off I think I was talking about this being a industrial um, styled apartment because I was thinking that uh, you wouldn't really have an older building and then have all of the apartments flash on the inside and things like that or you you might but I felt like not I'm not too sure what I'm trying to explain or what I'm thinking but yeah anyway we'll, we'll just forget about that but so yeah I had the in mind that this is going to be for an artistic uh, person and I thought this would be one of the lower um lower or cheaper uh, apartments to rent out and I figured being in a studio apartment you'd probably have kind of like a student living there um, and I thought being an artist as well they'd have a lot of mismatching items I think because I feel like when you're young and when you're studying especially artists they're usually portrayed as not having much money I'm not too sure why that is but that's usually how I seem to think they're portrayed I could be totally wrong but that's what I think anyway so I decided to make it look like things were mismatched because I was thinking perhaps the the person um, 
just went to a lot of flea markets to go and purchase their things when flea markets came around and that's why things are mismatching and I thought being artistic as well I wanted them there to be some different colors a lot of different patterns and even though I think that patterns all different patterns together ne never look good together I actually did like it in this build because I mean you've got so much patterns going on you've got the uh, Japanese or oriental inspired pattern on the uh, curtains there and you've got that weird diamond shape repetitive uh, pattern sorry on the little ottoman there and you've got another little pattern on the bedspread and on the pillow so so much patterns going on um but yeah i think it in the end i think it kind of works because it does really give the feeling that it's a mismatched probably poor person who lives there um and i do have a few paintings around i've actually only got one painting uh, on the wall oh actually no I've got two I've got one in the kitchen but I've got one in the wall on the main area and then there's a bunch of canvases and I just um, gave it one of the swatches where some of those canvases aren't just blank they actually have like a painting on it now just with this build um, if you have seen part one of the original build um, uh, you will you will remember sorry that I said that I had lost the build because my game crashed. Well, the same thing happened with this apartment just as I got to end to the end. Sorry, it crashed. Um, I did think about using the uh, original recording, but I decided um, that I would. No, sorry, I did think of using the new recording because I did. No, I didn't record it. I recorded the other one. Sorry guys, I'm just getting a little bit confused. So what happened with this one is it crashed. I contemplated recording it again so that I can use the new and finished recording, but I decided to go with the original um, just because it was almost finished and not much changes anyway. The only things that really change is the cabinets um, and the uh, bench tops. And we also get a few plants in there and I think we changed some of the wallpaper and I think that's about it. I think that's the only things that are different so it's not too much different and you will see them in the screenshots anyway. So I thought I would just leave it as is. Um, but yeah, I quite I quite like this apartment. I also like um, using that little side table that's got the suitcases stacked on top of each other because it really does add to the feel that this is a poorer person. Uh, I wouldn't actually say necessarily that they're poor. I would just say that probably just, you know, that they're, they're making just enough to survive. So they've got enough for their weekly rent, their food, their studies and things like that. But whatever they have left over is not much. So they just tend to, you know, buy cheaper things. And usually I don't like um, a bunch of patterns together, but I do like it in this build. I'm not too sure if I've already mentioned that. Uh, I think I may have actually, but I will we'll just continue. So yeah, I wanted, oh yeah, I also forgot I put all these sketches on the window. I thought it would be kind of a neat little thing to put them up on the windows. Um, being such a small apartment, you'd probably try and use up uh, whatever space you can. I feel like this person wouldn't care so much about how it looked considering he's only just living there for a short time anyway guys we are in the screenshots now and um, so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more videos in the future anyway guys as always i hope you guys all have a great day and i will speak to you guys all soon bye